and uh, it's at Kennedy Space Center. And then well, good evening, everyone, and welcome space here space to the launch anymore. pad. We are uh, actually here. We are at NASA Kennedy Space Center, the Banana Creek Viewing Center next to the Saturn V building on the Kennedy Space Center property. And uh, the views that you are seeing are our own. Uh, these are our cameras here with us, taking a look at the large monitor, uh, giving us access to that SpaceX feed uh, and the countdown there. We're currently at T minus one minute and 45 seconds. And the or 45 minutes and 15 yeah, seconds so and if we hit a button Tomorrow's here we can take a look at our wider shot of the actual yeah. pad here and we'll look at that now as it punches in so we are excited to bring this to you if you're in here take a moment hit the like button share it as well uh, really does help us out and make it possible to do more streams here on location uh, this wouldn't be possible without the support of our gofundme people our Patreon, our YouTube members. So thank you guys. We are here because of you. And we're excited to bring this to you here. The, uh, com check with the crew. So we're going to listen in right, as they're going to do com check here. Com check. GNC loud and clear. Step by the com check by the full sheet. And what you're hearing right now, com check. Funny, as well as the GPS 3.5 launch in June of earlier this year. 
To date, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket has completed 138 total launches, with over half of those on reflown rockets. Uh, as for the Dragon spacecraft flying today, uh, as I've mentioned before, it previously flew on the NASA Crew-1 mission in November of 2020. Uh, and overall, Dragon spacecrafts have completed 27 missions, including 25 visits to the International Space Station, 10 of those visits on reflown Dragons. So, reasonability, we're two cents. We have a good side Ashley. All right, that is great news. We that was just confirmation that the leak check that they performed on the side hatch, everything is good. So that side hatch will remain closed until those four individuals splash down back on Earth in three days after orbiting uh, for that duration. Yeah, it is uh, important, again, uh, that we do perform that leak check because we want to make sure that in the vacuum of space, the um, habitat inside of the capsule can withstand that pressure and make sure that, the uh, again, the environment that the astronauts are in are hospitable. Um, so that is, again, great news that we are continuing to march uh, towards uh, T0 on time. Everything seems to be going great so far. Um, Kate, I do want to talk more about reusability. It is astounding that over half of our